Hello everyone and welcome to Blind Beauty. I'm Jennifer. What we're doing today is I am going to do a get ready with me. Now this is going to be a chit chatty get ready with me. And so forgive me if, you know, this is a little long. But still, we're going to have some fun today. I'll explain what's going on in this right here, this box. This is a little caboodle type case I found at a little flea market here. It all be getting all my products out of. So if you hear any rattling around and whatnot, that's what you're hearing. Okay, so, you know, the one product that I've been using lately, yeah, it's not drugstore, but this is the, I'm trying to use this up. This is Cover, Cover FX Blurring Primer. Now, a good one that I like besides this is the Maybelline Baby Skin. You know, that's a good one. It really is. Uh, but this one is about out. That's why I've been using it. So, but everything besides this is going to be drugstore products. So, but yeah, I have, I've been doing a lot lately. I've started back to school. I am going to Southern New Hampshire. New Hampshire University now, online, mind you, and that's actually pretty neat. Um, I'm going to school for social media marketing, and right now I'm just kind of in the beginning classes, you know, human relations for business administration. I mean, we all need to know. We all need to know how to really relate to humans, right? Sorry, y'all, I'm a little out of practice. It's been forever since I've filmed. So, but I've got the blurring primer on my cover FX. Like I said, another good option is the Maybelline Baby Skin. Uh, if you want something that's also multifunctional, <laughs> you can also use the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. That's also a really good one, but you don't want to use that all the time because it can clog your pores. But for those that don't know, uh, I know I did a video a while back here since I moved. I moved to North Carolina, so no, I'm no longer in Arkansas. But the product I'm going to use now is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. And hopefully I'm in frame. I'm using my uh, phone, and I actually am using the opposite side. You know, the part where I can't see myself, because normally I can't see myself from a distance anyway. But I'm using the Heart Candy Glamouflage, and I'll be using the AOA Studio Sponge. This is one of their makeup sponges. It's the black teardrop one. I'll be using that to blend it in, and I'll dot this all over, then use that to just smooth it all over my skin. But yeah, I've recently moved, and I gotta say, y'all, God has been good to me. Um, I'm now involved in a church here in North Carolina, and I'm loving it. You know, in Arkansas, I couldn't find a church that was willing to pick me up, you know, like a van. Here, there is a van that picks me up. So, I mean, that's an awesome thing. And I'm just using my BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Glow palette as a mirror. The lighting in here is <laughs> has a lot to be desired. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, and right here where I'm at, I'm right in front of my door, bedroom door. So, I mean, but this foundation, if you want something that's pretty full coverage, this is a great foundation. And y'all, it stays all day. If you want to see a full-on 24-hour wear test, let me know in the comments down below. Because, believe it or not, I've got a 24-hour test, just didn't film it. And here in North Carolina, it gets hot. I do mean hot, hot. I mean, I'm not sitting under lights right now, but still, it gets pretty warm. Eventually, I'm hoping to have some lighting that will make me look more like I did in my older videos. But, 
with this going back to school and all that, you know. I just don't have the funds right now. But, you know, with the church, uh, I also recently got baptized again, April 20th. <laughs> Forgive me, all my sinuses are going haywire just a little bit. Um, but I didn't have all this, like, completely organized, organized like I should have. But, hey, you do what you gotta do, right? Right. But this is the e.l.f. HD concealer that I'm using now. Putting this under the eyes and I'm going to blend it with the top, the pointy part of that sponge. But yeah, the church I go to, they have a real big Easter thing. And so this concealer is about out. I'm trying to use up quite a few products. My collection is like nothing like it used to be not nearly as large since my move. So, I mean, I used to have like a three drawer thing just slam packed with makeup. I've gotten rid of most, keyword, most of my high end stuff. Not all of it, like the cover, or cover FX blur and primer. If y'all know of another primer besides the baby skin out there that works just as well, let me know in the comments down below. And if there's any products that you want to see me test out or try or whatever, let me know that too. Because I'm always up for suggestions and requests and all that. One thing I'm not seeing here, but it could be in, yeah, it is in here. Okay. Um, here we go. I'm also going to layer this on top of it. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. I don't usually double up like this, but I'm a little dork in the eyes, and it doesn't seem like that brightened enough for me, so putting this right under the eyes, I go from the inner corner, down the side of my nose, back up to the outer corner, I mean, but as far as church goes, I'm trying to get as involved as I possibly can in it, in fact, uh, I'm due to start working in the nursery, in June. So that that's exciting because I love kids. I love spending time with kids. So that's very exciting for me. Taking whatever is left on this sponge on the tip and going over my eyes as well. Um, and I do apologize for all the ums. Like I said, I'm a little out of practice. It's been since February since I really sat down and filmed. So, but, got my concealer blended, at least as blended, blended as it's going to get. Then I'm going to take my, oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Right here. This is the L'Oreal True Match uh, powder. I believe this is the blendable powder. Yeah, super blendable. And this is in the shade W4. I'm going to use my... Uh, oh, where'd it go? Like I said, y'all, I'm not completely organized. This is just one big hodgepodge of products in this thing right now. So, taking the e.l.f. complexion brush, which that just bugs the crap out of me that it says complexion brush, because it's not really... All it is is a powder brush. They have a powder brush that I would see more as a complexion brush, and the complexion brush is a powder brush. <laughs> but anyhow, um, let's see here what else is going on. I have, I'm not a lot living alone anymore, which is awesome. I'm living with my best friend and sister, so there's probably going to be some videos from time to time with her. Let me know if there are tags or anything that you want to see two people do. There's like the not my hands thing, my sister picks my makeup, you know, that type of thing. If there are any goofy tags, like, uh, I don't know, there's so many out there. And if you want me to do a tag, like, uh, there's a new one, 
well, there's all sorts of new ones coming up all the time, and I'll admit that I'm bad about keeping up with what is new out there. So, but I went ahead and lightly powdered my entire face. Now, a little tip for you, if you ever wonder if you got your entire face, just take your hand and lightly go over. I really didn't get my neck, so I noticed that as I, you know, felt. So, I'm going to go down my neck a little bit with this, too. But you can feel the difference in how it feels if you do that. So, but yeah, I'm living with my sister and her mom, who I also call mom. Uh, but as far as school goes, I'm so excited to do that. I probably have a good two years, if not more, honestly, left. I mean, if I were going to regular college, it might be different, but since it's online, not so much. Now I'm taking the, uh, actually I'm going to use this other brush here, if I can find it again. This is a bigger brush than I typically use, though, for this. This is one of the You Can Be brushes. It comes in a nice little set from Amazon. And going into this BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow Palette. I don't even know if you can get this still. It's not on the BH Cosmetics site, but I'm going to flip the mirror back. That right there is what it looks like. I mean, you got a blush. If you can tell, y'all, I've been using this puppy like crazy. Because I've hit major pan on the blush, pretty good size pan on the bronzer and contour. High, one of the highlights. I haven't hit pan on the other one yet, but I'm working on it. But I'm going to take the blush side, get some on this big fluffy brush, go on the cheeks, and then I'm going to also use the contour. I do, sometimes I do it like a mixture of the contour and the bronzer shade just to give myself a little color. And do a, what, I, what I've heard on YouTube called a bronzer. I'm brontoring, y'all. I'm brontoring. So, <laughs> yes, I mean, a little, if you go right on the temples here. I swirl it around a couple times, tap it off. And if you're ever worried about getting makeup, like getting it, evening things out on your hairline or whatever, go around your hairline with some contour and that kind of helps, or bronzer rather, that kind of helps to even things out a little bit. I mean, I could even take uh, this fluffy brush that I used a little while ago and go down the neck if I wanted to, but I'm having, I've got a problem with my shoulder right now, which I'm trying to go to the doctor for in the next week or so. That's why I'm not moving a whole lot, but now I'm going to go into this bright yellow shade right here at the top, top right, or left hand side whenever I'm looking at it at least, right here, it's a yellow banana type shade, and going right under the eyes with that, helps brighten it up a little bit, I haven't used the banana shade a whole lot in my videos, I don't think, but but hey, why not do it today? <laughs> now we're going to do a little highlight. Can y'all believe I have not been using highlight much here? I mean, I don't always use it. I go more natural, more quick. One and done. Out. But I wanted to do a, a real look look. Not just, you know, exactly what I do every day, but something somewhat fast, but still beautiful. I mean, honestly, I, I want to look pretty and feel pretty. Makeup to me, whenever I'm feeling down or whatever, makeup just helps lift me up a little bit. So, now I'm going to take the eyeshadow brush. And I was at first going to use the Reveal palette, but I'm going to use this instead. This is a Maybelline Natural Smokes palette. 
You got four different shades here. It says on the back what goes where, but I don't really go by that. So, you know, we're just going to roll with it. Let's roll with it, y'all. Let's roll with it. So, yeah, that has, I mean, all these, I've got to seriously clean my brushes. Bad. But this is the e.l.f. I think this is their eyeshadow brush. Yeah. It's the flat eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take that and put it all over the lid. This very top shade on the right hand side whenever I'm looking at it at least. Right there. I'm packing that on my brush. Now this Maybelline, I'm not really impressed with it, but this is something I go to whenever I'm wanting to you know, do a more natural, or not natural, but more quick look where it doesn't take a whole lot of thought to it. So, I'm just doing that real lightly over the eyelids. Because you got to build this up to really be able to tell it that you even have anything on. But, hey, I say, go with what you know, right? Go with what you know. Put it on the other eye. Now I haven't bought a whole lot of makeup. You know, uh, the hard candy I think was the one product that I have allowed myself to buy since I've been here. I mean, I miss buying makeup like crazy, but yeah, you know, I love me some good old makeup. That's my that's my joy. And doing videos, that's like the one thing that brings me joy is doing videos. Even though sometimes it's hard to get motivated to do them. I know it was today, but now I'm going to take the shade right below that. Right there. And we're going to put, that's like a dark brown, well medium brown rather. And this is a, I think this is the Elf Trees brush. There's no name on it. But putting it on that and tapping it off. I'm putting that right in the crease on the outer V a little bit and one thing I've started doing is bringing it in like a third of the way because I have such small lids and putting it right there in the crease buff it out just a little bit it does have a little bit of shimmer which I don't really like in my crease but you know whenever I'm in a hurry or whatever or don't want to think about it a lot, I really don't care if there's a little shimmer. We could all use a little shimmer shimmer. But typically, like I said, I don't like shimmer in my crease. And I've been doing a third of my lid. And buff that in the crease. Buff it in, buff it in. But I'd also like to ask anyone that does have, you know, that does pray, to please pray for my family in Arkansas. My grandfather, I did a video, I think, about this a while back, but my grandfather, he is battling cancer right now. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything they can do. They're waiting to talk to the cancer doctor. He had the surgeon that did, it, did a surgery on him said there was nothing that could be done for it. So, but I would ask that all of y'all keep him in his prayer, in your prayers rather. So, God can do amazing things. It's just, sometimes he's waiting for us to ask for his help, for his guidance. And I'm just building up the outer V right now is all I'm doing. But, you know, my grandmother is taking care of him, and so is my uncle. After his surgery, they put him in a nursing home, so, or, or it's a nursing home slash rehab, technically. So, he's in there right now, trying to build up some strength so he can go home, which I know that they're ready, or he's ready to go home, but, you know, 
I worry about him and I worry about my grandmother. And it's only because I'm doing makeup that I'm not crying, honestly. Because I, I, anytime <clears throat> I talk about my grandfather, I want to cry. Because I love him so much. He is my, he always pretty much was my father growing up. You know, I saw him as my father, rather. So, that just, it's hard to talk about, y'all. really is. Now I'm taking a big fluffy brush. This is one by... Morphe. I mean, hey, that is a, what some people consider a drugstore, but I don't. It ain't cheap enough. <sighs> but this is the Morphe brush, and I'm going on the brow bone with this here. But so, yeah, if you do pray, I ask that you keep him in your prayers. Um, it's hard, him going through it and me being so far away. But even whenever I was there, I didn't see him whenever I was there. So it's like, for me, 12 minutes versus 30 hours on Greyhound, because that's literally what I did. I took a 30 hour, 30 hour trip to move here. But, uh, that was just giving me fits, y'all. It was just really, wish it was right out the door. <laughs> but, uh, trying to find the right brush that I'm wanting for my next step here. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to take this brush here. It's just an angled liner brush. I'm going into this darkest shade at the bottom. I'm going to do the outer V area and well, we'll see where we're at from there. But I ask that you just keep him and thank my family in your prayers because God is good, y'all. God is in control. I mean, but sometimes we just have to ask for his help, like I said. I mean, since I'm in church now and everything, I'm asking for God's help with a lot of things, and I believe that God never gets tired of hearing, hearing from us, you know. And if you don't like that I'm talking about Christ and everything, I apologize, but Christ has really become my rock, my strength. If it weren't for Him, you know, I don't know where I'd be, let's just say that. Alright, now I'm taking the Essence Super Fine Liner. I'm going to attempt to line my lashes. Might destroy this look, but I hope not. I really do. Sorry, y'all, I tried to talk and do this. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Hopefully I'm in frame, like I said. But if I'm not, hopefully I'll be able to fix it where I somewhat am. But yeah, that's good enough. I gotta get me another essence eyeliner eventually. And I figure I'm not really in the frame right now because I'm holding this thing up, but I'm trying, y'all. But now there's so much going on in the YouTube world. You know, some of y'all may be thinking, thank goodness there's actually a makeup video, not drama video. I mean, yeah, some people may say it's drama. Am I talking about? The problems I'm having in my family and, you know, or the problems my family are having, rather, not in my family, but, you know. Everybody has a life. Everybody is human. You know, that's the way I look at it. And we all have struggles that we're going through. Now we're going old school, y'all. We're going old school. This is the NYX 
Uh, I can't even tell you what it is. I know it's Nick's. It's their eyebrow pencil. Uh, yeah, all I know is it's the eyebrow pencil. Oh, automatic brow pencil, I think. Yeah. Actually, Nick's auto eyebrow pencil. <laughs> so I'm using that and going in my brows a little bit. And we'll go back to the eyes here in a minute. But, I mean, this one isn't my favorite, but it works. You know, it was a cheapie that I've had in my collection that I'm trying to use it up. There's a lot of products I'm actually working on using up right now. And actually, a lot of products I have used up. I've used up some foundation. The one thing that are hardest to use up are like blush, bronzers, um, other powders, you know, that type of things. But brow pencils, mascaras, that type of things, they go like water. No joke. They run out so fast. Alright. <laughs> lid back on this, because, yeah, I don't like leaving the lid off and stuff like this. And you want to take the opposite side and brush through them. But let me know in the comments down below if you like chit chatty videos like this. And if you need any. Uh, full detail uh, videos, like full tutorials. I do have some of those already. I have a beginner beauty type series. Now this is the Rimmel Exaggerate Liner. It's a retractable one. I don't like it, honestly. I'm trying to use it up. Get rid of it. I like the regular pencil liner. If I'm going to use a liner. Doing the inner rim of my eyes. My lower inner rim, rather. There we go. It's hard to talk while doing that because otherwise I'm going to poke myself in the eye. I mean, I'm already legally blind. We don't want to be totally blind. You know. Because I've actually poked myself in the eye and caused myself to have more, even more vision problems than I've already got. <laughs> and I, I don't like that, y'all. I, I don't. I'd rather be able to see what I can. Yeah, then. Uh, mascara. I know I had it a little while ago. Where did I put it? Okay, so I'm going to take this lash curler right here. This is, you can get a lash curler from Elf, you can get one at Dollar Tree, you know, anywhere. I'm going to curl my lashes. And believe it or not, I've actually taken a lighter before and heated it up. You just got to be very careful doing that, by the way. Otherwise, you're going to burn the crap out of your lid. I'm going to curl my lashes a little bit. And today I'm actually going to use uh, a mascara primer. I haven't been using one, honestly and truly, but I thought, eh, why not? You know, this is it. Shop Miss A AOA Studio Skinny Lash Primer. Well, if I can get it open, I will. skinny lash primer. I mean, the handle is longer than the actual mascara thing. This thing is skinny skinny. I have the skinny mascara though, too. I just wanted to try priming my lashes a little bit. The mascara I'm using is not one that needs priming, but still, I'm going to have to get me more 
waterproof mascara because I don't have any besides that one and I gotta get rid of that one. I mean, there's so many mascaras out there that I would love to try, but is it just me or mascaras? Makeup in general, but especially mascaras. Too dang expensive. Companies are coming out with new ones, but they're charging an arm and a leg for them. Dang. This stuff seems to really grow them lashes. I mean, I don't know if y'all can see that at all. I mean, I can see the white. And I can actually see my lashes right now. So, yeah. That's, that's something, y'all. That's something. But now, I'm going to take my Essence I Love Extreme Volume Waterproof Mascara. Right here. It's a bluish color tube. To me, it looks blue, at least. With pink writing. And coat them lashes. Dang, that... Mascara primer just makes it feel like there's hardly, like it, I don't feel it as much. I mean, I'm getting some length. I mean, I like this mascara anyway. It gives good length, but still. So, let me know if you want a full-on review of that skinny mascara primer. Um, like I said, I haven't bought much makeup, but if you want to see, like, a, let me know in the comments down below. I thought about doing a weekly makeup kit thing, like Monday makeup or Monday weekly makeup or whatever, because when I've, or even Monday monthly, because usually it's monthly or every couple weeks that I change out the makeup in this thing. But now yeah, doing videos more often. It might be more often than that, but who knows? Then I'm taking the Maybelline Color Sensational Touch of Spice. And my nose is going haywire. And I mean absolutely haywire. Put that on. My lips are rather chapped right now, so do that. There we go. My brows are on point. My makeup, at least the little bit that I can see at a time, looks pretty decent. Not great, but not awful. So, I mean, I've done better, I've done worse. But what I'm also going to do before I quit here is I'm going to take that Maybelline Eye Studio palette, palette that I was using. I'm going to go into that highlight shade that we used. It's the larger one on the left hand side. I'm going to do that right in the inner corner. Here. Like the, the, whenever I say inner corner, I also go like right on top of the lid barely I've started doing that more. That just helps to brighten it up a little bit and not go overboard underneath. So, but yeah, if whatever y'all would like a review on that you've seen me use or um, want more details about how to do something I can do that. Just let me know in the comments down below. Because I am going to try to start filming. It might be this area here. It might be another area of the house. It might be different angles here. But that's at least the plan. And I think, y'all, that that's it. That right there is the makeup look that I did today. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a great day.